Hello, good morning. <coughs> Today we want to see the book of Proverbs, chapter 16. Proverbs chapter six, six, 16 Proverbs chapter 16 verse 3 <coughs> I will read uh, commit to the Lord whatever you do, and your plans will succeed. And verse 9 In his heart a man plans his course, but the Lord determines his steps. Well, uh, today we want to see this. <coughs> Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and your plans will succeed. Even verse 1 is also important. To men belong the plans of the heart, but from, our, from the Lord comes the reply of the tongue. For, for our life of faith, then, we can live believing, believing in God. Then, <clears throat> uh, we need to live believing in Him uh, to the end, uh, patiently. Uh, and then we will experience God uh, more and more and greatly for our life. So commit to the Lord whatever you do and your plans will succeed. But not as I will, but as you will. <laughs> we also looked at that, right? There is a, the, way, the way of God. But then, our plans, as long as it's according to the God's will, then it will, mm, it will be successful. In his heart, a man plans his course, but the Lord determines his steps. So, as we are living, yeah, we need to believe in this and then <clears throat> don't give up so as I was usually as people are living in this world then uh, people are difficult to believe in God because they are they cannot they could not experience God deeply why? They stop praying God. Maybe they try to pray God, but then they don't, they don't continue to pray God. Uh, they give up in the middle. And then they cannot experience God's hand. Many people, many people, they cannot experience God's hand as they, as they cannot continue their their faith, as they cannot continue their prayer. But then, we need to have this faith that God is alive. God will fulfill His great will. God wants to fulfill His great will through our life of faith. We want to live believing in this 
for our life. So for my life of faith, then I could also experience this uh, many times. Especially when I was young, then I could experience this word as a living, living word of God. I was not, yeah, even at that time, I was, I was a believer of God. Even I was called as a leader. But then, still, <laughs> I didn't, I didn't really have the living faith. Uh, I can say, I didn't really have the living faith. But one day, I could see this, this verse on the wall. Uh, I could see this verse on the wall. Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and your plans will succeed. So I was wondering myself that do I really have this faith? Commit to the Lord whatever you do? Did I really commit to the Lord? Did I really have this faith to commit even my plans, my will to God? Did I really have this faith? I was wondering myself. Usually, and then I realized that then I was doing myself. I was doing with my wisdom. I was trying to do man, all the things with my strength, with my power, with my wisdom, with my own wisdom. Oh. Even though I was called as a leader, leadership, for the kingdom of God, but then I realized that then I was not really doing with faith. Huh? I was not doing re really with faith. So looking at this first. So from that day then, uh, I determined myself, ah, I need to commit to the Lord. I need to commit my, my life to the Lord. Commit to the Lord, whatever you do. Commit to the Lord, whatever you do. Huh? Ah, I need to have this faith. I need to commit my life to God. My, I need to commit my plans to God. And then your plans will succeed. Huh? Not, but not according to our, my own will, but according to God's will. My heart plan for something, but then God will determine my path, my way. But anyway, uh, I realized that uh, I need to have faith. Then I started, and then from that day, uh, I started prayer. Uh, uh, <laughs> I started to pray. I started to pray God for one hour per day. For one hour per day. Uh, for something. Uh, for my academic work. Uh, and then in six months, uh, in six months, <laughs> I could experience God's miracle. Ah, I could be successful with my academy work. Before then, before six months then, I was very bad. Even I was rebuked huh, by, my, by the professor. But then, after six months, yeah, even I could be glorified. Uh, I could be praised. So I could realize that, then, ah, this is God's hand. God's hand. So I could realize this again. Commit to the Lord, whatever you do, and your plans will succeed. So, 
That's why even I, I can also encourage each one of you. Huh? You need to believe in God. And you, can, you need to pray. From today, you can start to pray God. Huh? Do you have some problems? Or do you have any wish which you want to do for your life? Or for your family? or for your parents, or for your own life. If it's according to God's will, if it's not the bad things, if it's not just selfish things, then you can even commit, commit it to God. You can pray God, you can start to pray God even from today. And then, you will meet God more deeply. But it takes time. But have faith. Continue to pray God. It takes time. <laughs> for me, for me, for my life then, when I, wait, when I wait for something, then usually I wait for at least a few months. <laughs> <laughs> for a few months, usually. When I wait for something, then usually it can take at least a few, month, a few months. Sometimes 30 months. Even uh, recently, I had some experience. 30 months. 30 months. Uh, another thing here, in, here as I'm working for the Kingdom of God in, here in Kenya, when I usually wait for something, then it took it took one year. <laughs> a few things they it could take uh, one year, but it could be fulfilled. Huh? So the important thing is, yeah, don't give up. Uh, pray God, commit to the Lord, then you will succeed. <coughs> <coughs> mm? Commit to the Lord. Uh, commit to the Lord, you will succeed. Believe in God, commit to the Lord. Commit something, commit your plans, uh, your will, your, your wish to God. Then, you will experience the great success by God uh, as long as it's according to God's will. So, I want to encourage each one of you to have faith, to live with faith continually. But it takes time, but we can persevere, we can wait we can be patient uh, with the faith. The book of James, chapter 5. Yeah, even we read this part for Sunday service. James, chapter 5. Yeah, it also teaches us, be patient. Chapter James, chapter 5, verse 7. From verse 7. Be patient, then, brothers, until the Lord's coming. Yeah. Be patient. God will come. God will listen. God will reply to your prayer. Uh, until God comes to your life. Be patient. Hmm? Be patient, brothers, until the Lord's coming. See how the farmer waits for the land to yield its value of crop and how patient he is for the autumn and spring rains. Mm. As the farmer wait for the rain, as the farmer wait for the crops, they wait for like six months, eight months. And then they are working persistently, patiently, longing for the great crops. And then the people 
the farmers who are working diligently to the end, then usually the farmers can gather a lot of crops, harvest a lot. And then their winter season can be very joyful with a lot of fruits in their house. Be patient. Verse 8, you too be patient and stand firm because the Lord's coming is near. Yeah. You too be patient and don't grumble, verse 9. Don't grumble against each other. Be patient. Stand firm. Stand firm in God. Why? The Lord's coming is near. Yeah. God will reply to us. God will fulfill. Even God will uh, reply to our prayer. Uh, even God will give us the great success for our life. Uh, be patient. Be patient. The Lord's coming is near. Uh, be patient. Be patient, brothers, until uh, until the Lord's coming. See how the farmer waits for the land to yield its valuable crop. Yeah, farmer, farmer is working hard. Why? With, with this hope. With this hope oh, for the great crop. Oh, I can... Oh, what is it? <laughs> I can harvest. We can harvest the great fruits. The great fruit, fruit crops, and then we will, we will be able to enjoy this great profit. We uh, will be this hope. Then they are, they are, they can persevere today. The farmers, they can persevere today. And then they are also patient for what? For the autumn and spring rains. Yeah. That's how they are waiting for also those help from heaven. So that as they don't give up, then they will be able to harvest the great crops, the great crop. As they don't give up, the farmers. So the same, you too, verse 8, you too. Be patient and stand firm. Yeah, you too. Who is you? Who are you? Who is you? Yeah, the people of God, the disciples of Jesus Christ. You too. The servants of God. You too. Be patient and stand firm because the Lord's coming is near. Yeah. Be patient. Stand firm. Walk sincerely. For the kingdom of God. Take care of the Lamb of God. Lambs of Jesus. And then we will have the great crop in God. So for our life of faith. Yeah, the Bible yeah, give us the important lesson. Even we can remember Job's suffering. Huh? Where is it? Verse 11. Huh? Remember, you heard of Job's perseverance and have seen what the Lord, the Lord finally brought about. Huh? Yeah. The Lord is compassionate. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy for our life, for each one of us. So don't be discouraged. Don't give up in the middle. The will of God is to save us, to, give, to bless us, not to condemn us, not to punish us. We want to believe in this. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. What is the faith? What is the faith? Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. Without faith, it is impossible to please God because anyone who comes to Him must believe 
with faith we can please God. Then the people who comes to God, then we they should believe what? <laughs> believe what? What should we believe? What should you believe? They must believe that He exists. God exists. Ah, God is living. God is living. The living God. He exists. He is not conceptual. God is not the God which mankind created with their brain. Huh? Don't misunderstand. People think that they are religions are created by men. Religions are created by men. <coughs> but I'm not sure other religions. But the Christianity, the God of Israel, the Jehovah God, is, is not that man created this God, Jehovah God. God created man. <laughs> God created man. We have this, we need to have this in our mind. We need to un really understand this first. God created man, not that man created God. Man made God. Huh? First, this is the first understanding we should have. God created this earth, uh, this universe, and God created man. God made us. God gave us the life. Even God started the life for each one of us. God is the, the origin of our life. Whether you believe in or not, that is true. We need to believe in this. God exists. God is the living God. God is with us. God is beside of us, beside of you. He wants to guide you to experience Him, the living, the living God. We must believe that ah, God is the living God. He's living. He's exi he exists. Even, even though He is not visible, but He exists. He's the living. He's a living God. It's not conceptual God. Huh? It's not that man, mankind created God. No. God created man. God created each one of us. God made each one of us. If this is how God knows our life. God also has the great plan for each one. For, for, for your life, for my life. Huh? We need to believe in this. It's not that your physical parents have the plan for your life. God has the plan for our life, for my life, for your life. Huh? And then, he exists. We need to believe that God exists and He rewards those who honestly seek Him. Yeah. God would give us the great reward as we live seeking for God huh? persistently. Then God will give us the great reward for our life of faith. So we need to believe in these two things, the great reward for our life. God will give us. So, at this time, we want to realize this again. Ah, God is the living God. And then, commit to the Lord. We need to come before God, come before this living God. God is living. It's not conceptual. And then with this faith, we want to come before Him, then we want to commit whatever we plan. We want to commit whatever we plan to the Lord. To the Lord. And then we want to experience that our plans will be 
successful. God would give us the great success for our life. as long as that is good things. So, as we are leaving, we want to think about this again through this time. So usually, many people are easy to give up in the middle. And many people are easy to stop praying God. But then, as we have the faith continually, as we pray God continually, be patient with the patience. Uh, patient, be patient. Uh, James chapter 5. Be patient. Like the farmer, wait for the rain, wait for the crops. Uh, so as we continue to live with faith, continue to pray God with this faith and with patience, perseverely. And then, we will be able to experience the great hands of God for our life. Uh, so that's how I want to encourage each one of uh, each one of you. Uh, because I could also experience God similarly. Many times or a few times for our life. The word of God in the Bible is true. Huh? Live with faith, with patience, with perseverance. Huh? And then you will have, God will give us a great success, true success, eternal success, which can be connected to the eternal life not for the uh, temporary things, physical things only. So as we live with faith, as we live with this faith toward this living God, as we seek for the kingdom of God continually, continually is important, persistently, continually. Don't just live with faith only today, continually. <laughs> Continually. Be patient with patience. Continually. As you seek for the kingdom of God, continually. Not just for today, not just for this week. Continually. And then we will experience the great hand of God. Huh? And then we will receive, experience the great success from God for our life. So, I want each one of us can live with this successful life in God as we live with faith continually, persistently. So then we can be deep in God, we can have the deep root in God, and then our life can be uh, fulfilling the will of God in this world. So we want to end here. Let's pray. <coughs> Dear Heavenly Father, thanks so much for allowing us this time to meditate your word. Uh, as we are living then, we are easy to give up in the middle. Even though we can start, start well with faith today, but as we have more difficulties, then we are easy to give up tomorrow. But with the patience, with the faith continually, that we want to persevere well with the hope in you. That we want to pray God. We want to seek for the kingdom of God continually. So then, you can listen to our prayer. And then we want to experience, receive your great mercy and miracle <coughs> for our persistent life of faith. So then we can we want to experience you more deeply, more and more, and then we can have the deeper root, the deep root in you, and then we can have, we can stand on the firm foundation for our life. So, and then through our life can be, uh, through our life, your great will 
can be accomplished for this world. So please be with us. Please guide each one of the members in our church, even with many people who want to live with the faith, come before you. So then please be with us, guide each one of them. Then they can, as they continue to live with the faith, then bless their faith, and then show your great hand for their life. And then they can also uh, be living, uh, glorifying your name through their life, fulfilling your will uh, for this world. So thank you for your grace through this time. Then I pray all this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. God bless you all.